So just to set Go this ahead. up, Steve Becker, our EP, sent us a, a text with a link to a Bleach Report article uh, a couple weeks ago. We've been saving this for a day where we had yeah. some time to get into it. And Bleach Report went through and named their most overrated at each position in the NFL. And two Browns landed on the list. They had oh, wow. David Njoku as the most overrated tight end and Dalvin Tomlinson, their new defensive tackle signee, as the most overrated defensive tackle. Once again, this is not us. This is Bleacher Report's right. uh, article, and they listed some honorable mentions as well. So I toss it to you guys. Do you feel like either Njoku or Tomlinson is actually overrated? Both? Well, before I answer the question, it, he picked an odd reason for why they're overrated, Mike. I think that's important for context. Yeah, you explain that, Bull. That. Explain why he yeah, said well, Joku was he, overrated. He said based on how they're getting paid. Well, that's kind of how, how I, players are rated. I just, yeah, I guess so to some degree. No, Joku isn't a bad tight end, but he isn't a great one either. And the so fact would you have been better if it was just overpaid instead of overrated? Because yes. I yes. think I think one David is, Njoku is definitely overpaid. One thousand. David Njoku is a, in my opinion, an average to slightly above average. Tight end. I agree with that. And he's getting paid like an elite tight end. He is. Top mm-hmm. five. And he's not. He's not. There's only a few guys. I don't even know if there are five. There are three. But he's not one of them. No. There, you know, I, I actually think Travis Kelsey's in a class by himself. He is. And then the He's second, like the Barry Bonds. Now. That's right. And he's then, doing things that we've rarely seen, if ever, by a tight end. Right. And then level two, you know, is Kittle when he's healthy, obviously, yep. and yep. Mark Andrews. Those yes. guys are in, in, That's it. in the second tier. I don't even think he's in the 30, third tier because I think there are other guys that I'd much rather have over he him. He might be to me, Bull, but to your point, yeah. tight end is a really fascinating position. It is a position that warrants itself to having the guru, the, the one guy that is just a clear standalone, and then a couple of other difference makers. I mean, this yeah. is proven in fantasy. And then there's like 25 guys. That are interchangeable. They're just guys. Yeah. They're not going to change your life. Yes. They're not going to be reasons you win in Sunday every Sunday. Yeah. Baltimore has one. San Francisco has one. Kansas City has one. Yeah. Full stop. That's it. Yeah. I mean, there's some other guys that I like. The kid on Atlanta hasn't, really hasn't done lived it yet. Up to his potential. Now, he hasn't had any quarterback. Yeah, they haven't had a quarterback That's there. That's true. But he's got the potential. I know there's – I don't know, but there's a couple of kids that were drafted this year that people are really high on. Yeah. One of them went to Buffalo, so we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. out there. Do you think he's overrated? Um – I think com- compared to who, like, like overrated. I, overrated means like so. Like, I know because both he, I got on a, a point. Yeah, like is he overpaid? I think we all agreed he's yeah, overpaid. Yeah, no, he overpaid. Yeah. Because that you can look at the paycheck and the yeah, production, yeah. and there is Not, a world of difference. Yeah, between right. Well, who's rating but, him as a superstar? So, I've never heard nobody come up and be like, so, well, the Browns no, are. No, they you know what? Like I, I'm yeah. glad you asked it that way yeah. because here's what my instinct. If I didn't look at anything when I got that, I go. <laughs> By the Browns rating, he's way overrated. Yeah. yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Like the Browns. Have, and in fact, in the article, the author, Gary, said that th- when he signed the contract, it was literally a, what in the world has this guy done to get $14 million a year? And yeah. that's what I said on the show the next day. I'm like, I hate this deal. I like that he's going to be part of our team. I hate that he's going to take up this many dollars from a resource standpoint. He's not worth it. Now, all that being said, that might change this year. Yeah. So I'm still ready to say right. one more year on this, this guy. This is the last year, though. But this is it. This yeah. is last I mean, year. if I'm not mistaken, too, I think two years were guaranteed, and I think there might have been a team option after two. I, I mean, I can't if, remember. If he doesn't how, put up, if he doesn't get into at least, you know, the I, second tier of. I need top five production yeah. in yards, receptions, otherwise, and touchdowns. Otherwise, see ya. That's, that's where the rubber is. Because otherwise, I can here. fill your spot with anybody. Other than that, yeah. we've got guys. We've yeah. got guys that can do what you do. There's a lot of veteran tight ends that, like, bounce from team to team. Like, we saw Mike Gusecki change teams. We saw um, Hayden Hurst go to the Bengals. He was pretty good last sure. year. Then he goes to a, it. Most of the tight ends are dependent on the quarterback. And if there's only a few how that are, this organization has just tight ends, specifically, yeah. who was the punk they brought in from, from Atlanta? Oh, Austin uh, Hooper. Oh, oh yeah. my God. That guy couldn't put two steps together. I thought he was going to be good. Together. I thought he was going to be hey. great. But what did he do? He played with Matt Ryan when Matt Ryan was he, still good. And, right. You know. and, and so, I mean, the track record for this organization, the, this group of talent evaluators is awful. I it's, think, it's just not good. I think also you have to have the play caller. If you want your tight end to shine, you got to do other things than just sit him on button hooks or tell him to run five, six yard outs. He has to be a vocal part of your of your route tree. 
I watch some of like these. Like Kelsey is. Yeah. T- Kelsey running. Kelsey runs make-believe routes. Well, I mean, like, Kelsey's their Kelsey. number one receiver. Yeah. yeah. That's it. He's and yeah. So, so he, yeah. they, they going to make sure that he going to run everything possible to get him open on the mismatch. Other teams, they don't even put him really in positions to make plays. So, if you got a, a guy and a quarterback, you have to have a playbook and a plan for him, not just some afterthought. And I think a lot of coaches – they just don't they, – they're like, okay, I'm going to get my running back involved. Hey, I got a receiver I got to get the ball to. Right. It's hard to get a tight end and, and a number one receiver and still keep some run pass Not when he's special, people. though. I mean, well, the, yeah. the, the, the Niners, Ravens, and Chiefs always get – because those guys are special. I don't think David Njoku's special. I think he's good. I think he probably should be more productive than he is. But I, don't, I never thought he was going to be in that class with those Do guys. Do you think that he's a product of his look? You know, they, they 100%. Say, I mean, the guy walks into any room. I don't yeah. care if he's in street clothes, shorts, and a t-shirt, or a yeah. football uniform. Whatever room he walks into, he immediately becomes a topic of conversation. Right. Even in, in football circles, that guy walks in, he's like, this is Adonis. Yeah. This, this guy's been blessed. 100%. Oh, and by the way, that body, he can propel it over a seven-foot-high high jump bar. Right, right, this right. This guy should be breaking all records. Well, you look at the numbers. Mike, can you put those numbers back up again? His season stats? The stats you just put up, yeah. yeah. I think that was the season stats. Like, for a tight end in a vacuum, that's okay. those are pretty good numbers. But not for a 14 not million for a 14-year right. player. If he was getting paid $8 million a year, love it. I, I'm with you. No problem. And keep doing what you're doing. But he's getting paid like the best tight ends, and he's not. See, here's what I'm Couldn't more, agree more. Here's what I'm upset about. Listen, David and Joku, man, stop bringing your wives around David and Joku. Why? Right. Like, because you don't look like him. Like David and Joe, no, got yeah. got body oil. He got baby oil all over his <laughs> joint. He got he got he got midriff shirts and mid, low. How you got low cut low cut jeans, bro? I see your small of your back. That's not cool, D- David and Joku. <laughs> Keep this man away from all the women. And I'm yeah, like, listen, that's you, a good point. Stay at home. You gotta be out because you don't look like he got long hairs. He got one blonde, a little dread. Like he looked like a, a Street Fighter character. This dude, <laughs> <laughs> he's a mythical Street <laughs> Fighter character. Yeah. This dude right there, he goes in the club. You're out of here. And he kind of has a superhero <laughs> last name. Yeah, like he's in Joku. Smiling all like, pretty. Couldn't, couldn't that be like a superhero? <laughs> look at that. He's yeah, that's true. In look, Joku. Look, he, yeah. he's embracing it. My face is wet right now. I look good. That's and fair. you know what? You see things like he had a top 10 catch last year. Right. And then he had a drop that kept the team right. from winning a game that he's they should have won. He's done that his whole career. Now, I think and he's gotten he's better. Enigma. His hands have improved. Yeah. But he often makes the great catch and drops the easy one. Yeah. And that prevents him from getting to the next level. Hopefully, what, that'll happen Watch this him year. have 1,200 this year. Now, I've never seen potential. Warren Sapp always said potential is another word for suck. Potential gets you killed. Now, now, here's the thing. I've never seen a player live off potential now into his seventh season. Because he came into the league, he's I think he was like 12. Seven, six. Yeah. He so, was like no, he's had six. Oh, it's seven? So here's, yeah, because he was drafted the year before Chubb, right? Yes. So here's so what's seven. amazing about oh, that. Man. In this league, yeah. the not-for-long league, potential lasts for one contract. Right. And if it hasn't developed, unless you're a lineman, because a lot of times linemen will get that second look. I think we've got one right now that's sure. getting one, benefit yeah. of the doubt. But typically, at a skills position player, no. if you're not that guy, after he's a first-round draft pick, after your first contract, you kind of float around it's the league. very rare. And yeah. here he is. And you know what? I just I even cleared the decks for him. I said, you know what? If he doesn't do it this year, I'm done with him. Right. But I've said that five times before. I know. Before this, is this, it, this is it for me. It this is, is for me, too. Year. Perform. Has to be it it Wall- has to happen this and year. And by the way, the only the one position play, a skill position player I could think of that a team paid even though he had done nothing and it was a total disaster. I can't even think of his name. He was a wide receiver on the Rams. He was a really fast guy. What year? I remember in the, when the Rams were on Hard Knocks with Jeff Fisher. They were all excited because they announced the extension on Hard Knocks. Oh, you talk about uh, uh, Tavon Austin. Tavon Austin. Yes. Oh, yes. Out of West remember Virginia. that? He's he did another nothing. One. They signed him to but an extension. But he was a burner, still, wasn't he? he burner. Was, that that's boy. why. Good yeah. return, decent return yeah. guy. But he was as a wide receiver, he was nothing. They gave him a, a big extension, and he still did nothing. I had. Yeah. A, I got a funny story. I was in a club with him. <laughs> and in, in, in West Virginia, randomly. Really? Yeah, randomly in Morgantown with Tavon Austin drinking these bottles at a random Like you friend. were hanging with him? He was there with some other dudes. I, I was partying with some dudes I hadn't known from West Virginia. You know, I go to all the party towns. Hey, hey listen, he was winning. He, he, had, he had everything. <laughs> no. He, he was winning. You know what the that. key word in that phrase was? Was. 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 He was winning. <laughs> right. Like, like, I don't know what you're doing right now, Tavon, but you was winning. 
You probably, he's probably he's, still at a bar in West Virginia, but not Morgantown. Yes, yeah, yeah. You're nah, right. That's right. So yeah, what now, about now he's playing uh, ski ball with Johnny Manziel. <laughs> ski ball. What a random reference. Uh, we should have a UCSS ski ball tournament. That would be um, good. I'm going to defer on De- Delvin Tomlinson, and I'll tell you why. I haven't watched him. I agree 100%. I just, I didn't. How I, do we say he's overrated? I don't know. Yeah, I can't say. I mean, he probably got overpaid a little bit, but that's free agency. Everybody gets overpaid well, a little his bit. his position, yeah. I think, was a product of him getting overpaid yeah. and the fact that the Browns were very thirsty. Right. I mean, they yeah. were so thirsty <laughs> at that position, they'd gone years without a drink. So, they said, we've got to have a guy. He was a guy. The big names were already off the market. Yeah, had wipe, yeah. wipe the dry corners well, of your mouth. Wait, hey, don't you don't you don't you don't Again, really touch you really he's, a, he's a good <laughs> he's a good player that they played like a great player. We'll see if he's a, if he plays like Did a great player. Did you read the, the piece in the uh, I read the article and the piece specifically on him. Yeah. And when I read it, I said, okay, all of this does make sense. Right. Why did but you, I can't make a judgment no. personally yet because I, I haven't him watched here. him like why that. Did get Tom, hey, why did they get Tom listen like that? They said money too? Money. Yeah. They said that the Browns had a dire need at that position. The big needle movers were gone at that position. So it was kind of where need meets opportunity. And you just sometimes you have to overpay. But one of the stats that really was troubling to me was they talked about his, his um, win rate when he's in pass rush situations, it was way below average. And he was below average, I believe, in league double teams, which surprised me. I would think that a player of his caliber, defensive coordinators would look at him and say, okay, he's kind of going to be a focal point. But that has not been the case. He's been doing what he's done so far off single teams. They had Darius Smith and Daniel Hunter, though. That's that's true. I'm I'm doubling one of them. I ain't messing with Yeah, you're right. You're right. But, I mean. And he shouldn't see a lot of doubles here. No. You know, I mean, hey, Nick Ch- or I mean, uh, Miles Garrett's right. going to eat those up. Sometimes. And Darius Smith. Hey, look. Sometimes. Uh, not to Darius Smith. Uh, who helped? Uh, who did Brown sign? Just. Oh, Thompson. No, 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 the other one. The other, the, the defensive. Obo. 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 Yeah. The other defensive end they just signed. Mcmaguire. No. Zadarius Smith. Zadarius Smith. <laughs> I was right the first time. Yeah, I, was, said, I said Zadarius Smith. I was, like, and I was, I was like, doubting myself. Got a, I, was, I got it wrong. I was like, yeah, I was, I was like the one? other guy. You, you already said. Uh, my bad. Sorry. I, I said Zadarius Smith. And I was like, no, they didn't sign Zadarius Smith. But I was right the first He's time. He's not going to get double Idiot. teamed here. He shouldn't. No. Um, I, I hope the article's wrong. I, I hope he's not the most overrated defensive ta- defensive lineman. It would it would really hurt the entire defensive line, not just defensive tackle. Yeah, I think it was. Def- I think mm. they said defensive line. Any other AFC North guys on the list, Mike? Yes, you- there are. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to go through this position by position because I'm curious. It's easy. Then we got Carlos Baerga ready, so we'll bring him in in one yeah. sec. But at running back, Joe Mixon and Najee Harris were the honorable mentions. Yeah, Deontay Joe- Johnson. Was Joe's an a little overpaid. Mention. I think the Bengals are going to cut his salary or cut him. You've been saying that two years now. I know. Well, he said well, that at the end of last right season. Right now, you've got Dalvin Cook, Zeke Elliott. These running backs are out of their minds. The, Saquon Barkley thinks he's – nobody's paying you. No. <laughs> you may think you deserve to get paid. No, the, the Vikings just said, nah, we'll go to Alexander Madison. Can you imagine, like, just, just take anybody, for example, the names that you mentioned, but, yeah. hell, we've got a guy in Hunt. He's on the market. Nobody's interested What's right now. crazy is, can you imagine Hunt looking at the $14 million that the Browns are paying Joku for four years? I'm gonna He's t- got to be saying, wait a minute, what? I, I, the, I'm and by the way, of the this. free agent, we're in June, almost July, and he's third on the free agent running back yeah. interest t- list. And if Mixon gets cut, he drops the four. I told you, Bull, this is what's happening right now. Yeah. You know who all messed it up? The influencer himself. When OBJ got 15 million, everybody was like, you know what, damn it. Right. I'm, getting, I'm getting 12. The, the, I, I'm, I'm worth the, eight. The Ravens just I'm screwed worth six. You could go back to Mel Kuyper famously saying at the draft, if a team ever takes a running back in the first round, it's a massive mistake. Yeah. I mean, he was way ahead of the year. curve. Way ahead of the two curve. Two were taken this year, but it's very rare these days. It is. Okay. 